and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm gonna go over what you guys need to be doing with your coins before the end of the Super Bowl promo. Now, as you guys know, it is Super Bowl Sunday, so hopefully, you guys are doing something for Super Bowl Sunday, watching it with friends, family, whatever. But I know the Super Bowl starts around 6 p.m. Eastern time, so for a lot of people, you're gonna have a really busy day. So more than likely, I'm only gonna be posting two videos today because I was gonna put I was gonna put out three, but more than likely, the third video is gonna just completely flop because at the end of the day you guys it's, it's a big day for the football in general in real life the super bowl so instead of pushing out content i'll enjoy my super bowl day as with you guys so i'll probably just be posting this video with the 10 30 content so at your time of watching this you probably already saw the 10 30 video make sure to check that out pretty cool content today some pretty cool stuff so make sure you check that out now guys don't forget this is the final day of our super bowl giveaways now remember the only way, all you need to enter the giveaway is by liking the video subscribing to the channel and commenting down below to make sure you're pulled and guys even i'm trying to let you guys know even if we don't hit the like goals for any of the videos this weekend i'll still be giving away some coins because i still feel as though i appreciate all of you who entered showed sports it doesn't really matter but you still gotta be liked and commented and subscribed to enter so i'll still be polling even if we didn't hit it so remember as long as you go on every video and you enter all of them because I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick one random video to pull from so if you guys do that it'll make it a lot easier for you guys give you a bunch of better chance at least now super bowl promo does pretty much end today for the most part now no not entirely I, let me rephrase that super bowl promo will end probably tomorrow because tonight will be the super bowl mvp i don't know when the card will convert i'm gonna go check my item items to see but pretty much when the, once the super bowl mvp collectible does convert that's pretty much the end of the uh super bowl promo so we don't really have much left as content wise i mean maybe we get an ltd from the super bowl i mean that'd be i think that'd be pretty cool if they gave us an ltd from the super bowl but i don't know if they'll actually end up doing that it might just be the mvp now this thing does morph into the super bowl mvp it does not give us the exact date of it but i imagine i don't think it'll be tonight it'll probably be tomorrow morning at like 10 30 so i'll still be super cool super cool bit to make but beyond that guys let's get into the video let's go over what we're going to be doing right now so as far as i know you guys always you guys always ask me what should you take away from this promo i feel like that's one of the one of the main keys on this channel we always go over what players are worthwhile taking from other from other promos so coming to the super bowl present promo i'm gonna tell you guys so far who i recommend you take on out of this promo into the next set of promos and i know a lot of you guys are probably wondering you know is, is this guy worth it is he is he overpriced he's gonna be end game so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover starting with super bowl pass cars that i believe you should be spending coins on and taking into the next promo so let's obviously go up to the higher overalls because they don't really have much use to us so starting over here Sonny michelle is not a guy that you're taking into the next promo in my opinion he's not in game he's a waste of space in your team unless you have a patriots themed team other than that i don't think Sonny michelle's a guy you take i don't think brandon graham's a guy you take either he's he's great on a eagles themed team but i don't think he's like a main guy especially considering we have aaron donald and we have um, nick bosa coming to us real soon Ben Roethlisberger quarterback it's just it's not even an option we have too many great quarterbacks coming while well, we currently have too many great quarterbacks in general adam timmerman he was decent he's a very well-rounded right guard now if you got him as your nap player he, by all means keep him on your team going to the next promo but i don't think he is the main guy you're taking in terms of if you have to pick but if you have him for if you have him net by all means keep him next as we move on down these clay matthews obviously not a guy we're taking to the next promo as well as I think that covers the past player. So as far as past goes, I'm only taking Timmerman potentially. I wasn't really a fan of the past uh, low players. Now let's get to the high players. So Steve Young is a guy you can by all means take into the next promo. I think I mean I'd rather Lamar, Pat Mahomes, but or Vic, but Steve Young still a great, great quarterback and right now probably the best quarterback in Madden. So by all means, if you want to keep him to the next promo, by all means go ahead. Shoot up show again another guy you can take to the next promo. Awesome left guard and then Mo Renfro. I'm not gonna consider LTDs because LTDs at the end of the day, you guys all have him nap probably anyways. So. I think I gotta talk. I don't think you have some option if you want to keep him or not. Now, Super Bowl present. Let's head over to these smaller pieces right here. So, Sammy Watkins. Honestly, you can take him to the next promo. I have no problem with this guy as like a third, or even fourth wide receiver. Because honestly, he has great stats, and you probably have not. Kyle, I'm not gonna say his last name. You guys made fun of me for that. I'm not even gonna bother trying to say it. Fullback 96. Again, another guy you can take him to the next promo. It's a fullback. Raheem Mostert. I don't think that he's a starting running back. I think he's a second running back for you guys. But he's a great change of pace back that can come in and just give a great speed boost, full stamina off the bench. DeForest Buckner, a great defensive tackle you can take into the next set of the promos. Like, honestly, I like this second set of guys because he could be a defensive tackle two or three. Watkins could be a wide receiver three or four. Master could be a running back two or three. Chris Jones, same thing. I honestly think all these players you can take into the next promo. Mitchell Schwartz, great right tackle. He can't run block too well, but 
compared to my Lane Johnson, he's going to be great for me. Richard Sherman is the, one of the guys that I actually don't think you want to take into the next promo. Now, I know people say that everything else makes up for it, and I agree, but that speed's still too low. And remember, we play in a run-heavy Madden, so yeah, those passing protection looks great. But in a run-heavy Madden, if Bo Jackson is a stretch and Richard Sherman's one-on-one -on -one with him, he's going to be able to run around him or juke him out, and Sherman's going to have no pursuit angle on anything. Like, he's still too slow, and it's a very run-heavy Madden, so you're going to need a bit of a fast, you need a very fast secondary. Like, when, when Pat Tillman first came out, we all had him 96, like, early in the year. His speed and pursuit were so different that the running game was literally shut down by him. Now that running backs are faster than Tillman, the running game goes back to being OP, so it just shows you how much the secondary plays a role in a heavy run scheme with outside runs. Even inside runs, because people have to pursue angle them down. Tyron Matthew can take into the next pro, but I think he's really solid, honestly. I don't think he's the fastest, but he does have some really underlying like some great underlying stats here that you really can't go against now again they're ltd so i'm not really going to talk too much on them but in my opinion to wrap this part of it up i think that as far as this present goes you definitely want all of them besides sherman i don't think i'd go all in on because by the time sherman has a great speed every other cornerback will have 99 stats now beyond that what am i doing what else am i doing with my coins so i just bought tyree kill personally as you see my coins went down i'm going to do the set and sell the tyree kill i get but i don't want to wait much longer to get tyree kill now as far as super Bowl mvp goes and all the other stuff stuff with the promo that's pretty much it with that promo so should you buy the super bowl mvp it's a hard take to make because we don't know who it will be i've been telling you guys as far as is it worth it is it worth to the set uh probably not because you don't know what you're gonna get so it's kind of risky i mean if you want all the players now nah, it's fine but it's kind of risky because you don't know who you're gonna get i'm hoping for mahomes i'm hoping for i don't know maybe even tyree kill although i don't really want a tyree kill because i just got one but again this new tyree kill would have like 99 catching so it could be worth it but now beyond that is it time to buy? Is it time to sell? Is it time to invest with your coins? Now, Series 5 is coming, guys. I think this is a coin stacking period, in my opinion. I really do. I think it's a coin stacking period. So, the prices are entirely cheap right now. They're kind of a little bit on the more expensive side. Slightly upticked right now. So, I think this is a coin stacking time. Now, the reason I say it for you guys, get the players that you want to take for the next promo, right? And with the rest of those coins, I recommend you hold on to that. But definitely pick up some Super Bowl players because, like I said, Super Bowl promo does offer you players that could be on your team the rest of the year even as a secondary get type guy, like behind someone. Now prices are slightly up. You can see clearly here that team of the year and these uh, base prices are above 310, 330. These were like in the 295 range yesterday. But beyond that, like I was saying, we're getting into a point of the year beyond this where there's gonna be some really great stuff coming out like nfl honors i okay and series five this is, this is a big part of it by the way series five just come out this friday coming up so like five more days from today so the big thing about that is series five there's a level up grind there's a ton of coins ton of packs and ton, tons of way to make coins tons of free players gauntlet and a lot of stuff so i honestly recommend you wait till friday because this friday you're gonna get some free players more than likely through gauntlet or journey so make sure you get those players first slot them into your team you don't want to buy players now like let's say you buy and power up uh an end right and then in a week when series five drops they drop the golem master and you end up with like another end let's just say let's just say right and now you end up having two ends and one of them is that and i get it you know it's just a whole process pick up the super Bowl players you want now and then i'd wait series five you're gonna get at least like 300k from just leveling up to level 90 plus level packs plus a power up pass you can use use all of that first and once you have your team kind of set with that big series update since we probably won't get another one for a while then you take all that and then you take your coins and you construct your team as a accordingly as well as lamar jackson and all the nfl honors players were confirmed so you kind of want to be doing it because for the most part you're going to be getting a lot of stuff this week nfl honors in the series update i'd wait till after that and then use all those extra coins you get to also invest in players but i pretty much think that wraps up everything that's kind of what i'm doing right now so the, the plan of attack is take the super Bowl players you want to the next promo I'd be, I'd be selling some players right now. If you don't want, if there's certain players that you're wondering if it's time to buy or sell them, market's up a little bit. Maybe the time to sell. Next week, Series Five drops. Going to be a lot of coins to gain, be gained through Series Five solos, Series Five objectives, Series Five level of grind, and then a power pass, which is going to be probably like a 96 overall power pass, which does mean you're going to be able to get a pretty beastly player. 96 power pass pretty much infers you're going to get a 97 overall player because you power them up and then become 97s. So it's going to be a pretty good week for content, as well as I believe right after that team MVP starts. So gonna be a lot of high overall players coming to this game so the market's going to start coming down a lot more so that is why i was saying if you want you could sell right now as well as pick up some players super bowl wise if you want and then start selling the other ones you don't need but that pretty much wraps up this video i think that covers kind of what i'm doing with my coins as you guys see i was building up my stack to spend on super bowl so i did spend some on super bowl now i'm gonna build it up a little bit more and then spend it on nfl honors and then get some coins back with series five that's kind of my that's kind of my plan of attack right now so Level up grind is going to be kind of, it's going to be a little grueling, going to be a little bit longer than usual probably because as you get higher overalls, the more XP it takes, but shouldn't take us more than like five hours at maximum if you play the right solo. But guys, that is about it for the video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you got to do is enter the giveaway. Like the video. 
comment down below anything just so your name can be pulled down below and subscribe to the channel guys we're super close to 19k <clears throat> we're growing really fast and then once we hit 19k we're on the final stretch to 20k so it's gonna be pretty big so guys let's keep it going make sure to enter the giveaway spam that like button and remember even if we don't end up hitting it i'll still give away something to so make sure you're commenting on all videos and liked on all videos but that's about it for the day enjoy the rest of your super bowl sunday i'm out peace